A new solar program could help us all save money on our electric bills. Denver 7's Adam Hammond is live in Stapleton tonight, where Excel Energy is launching an experiment of sorts. Adam? We're here in Stapleton because this neighborhood has the highest concentration of solar panels like that one right there. So Excel wants to test this out here to see if they can store that power in banks of batteries. I love sunny days, which is why I'm in Colorado. <laughs> like most of us, Dan Hadem can't get enough of those Colorado rays. But for him, it's not just about a tan or nice weather. It powers his house. We moved in last June and we saw all our neighbors getting solar, so we decided that maybe we should look into it. They just finished installing these solar panels on his roof, which will power his house for at least the next two decades. We're still hooked up to the grid. And so on the months where, uh, like the winter months where it's gray and we don't get as much sun, uh, we receive power from Excel. And then in the summer months when it's bright and um, we're getting a lot of solar energy, we uh, sell our energy back to Excel. It evens out to cover 100% of its energy use in a year, and it could make 20% extra. Now, it is an investment. Most people pay for them over 10 to 20 years. Right now, Excel is installing six huge storage batteries all across Stapleton to figure out how they can take Dan and others' energy on extra sunny days and save it for peak demand times. If it works out, Excel keeps the energy in Stapleton and will spend less money pumping electricity across power lines into the neighborhood. And that could save homeowners money. Now, Excel is spending millions of dollars to see if this is going to work. And if it does, it's something energy companies across the country will try and duplicate. Reporting in Stapleton, I'm Adam Hammond for Denver 7.